Little mirror. Hey, Enigma. How's it going? Okay, so we're purging him on the opener. This is okay, I think. Yeah, so the Feral is the one with Grace, I believe. Yeah. But the priest gets cloned, so we can only purge the Feral. But this is fine. We get everything off. Now it's going to be easier to get procs off. We're in bash. So, like, we have two options here. We have the option to, like, line, grace ourselves, protect the field, maybe put, like, a palm up on the druid. And then once we have grace, then try and push on the priest for dispels. His PI is probably running out by then. Or we can trade dispels into him knowing that he has to fill up. Okay, we actually win a fear duel. That's okay as well. If the priest is better, he's not getting feared there. So, like, I see the penance, right? And he's on global, basically, and drop the fear on him. That's fine, but yeah, if the priest is better, we don't get that. So then, being more mindful. I think generally protecting the field more when we can is good, rather than just rushing for the, the dispels and gambling. Feral Trinket's clone. We're in clone. We use survival instincts. We still have the field. It's nice. Feral goes for the charge. I, maybe I don't give the line to the Feral there. Let's see. Maybe I need to be a bit more careful when my Feral's in clones to just line Feral as much as possible. See, like a guy here, there's no reason to do this. This just risks me getting charged into Bash. Um, and eating burns. But I don't, don't think he has Bash right now, so... Still, he gets the charge into Fear, right? This is unnecessary. There's no reason to take this Fear. I can just line the Feral for a little bit while my guy's in clone and then go out afterwards and he's not going to charge me. And then we're gonna, no, we won't lose momentum here. Priest is going to get a burn from this as well. So definitely something to be more mindful of. We, we're we basically in this state now where the Feral's popped Zerk. And we're like a little bit behind here, which means we are going to have, have a hard time purging. He's going to get a proc soon. Because we're still healing, right? Okay, we can chuck. Charge of the flash into a bash. So the bash actually wasn't great from him because I'm already locked from the charge. Like he could have bashed now, right? So he basically wastes the bash. And the priest won't get a burn out of it, likely. Did he get a burn? I'm not sure, actually. Why don't. Oh, I meld the burn. Okay. That's fine. Feral got unlucky, I think, with his procs. He should have had a proc there somewhere. We get the field off before getting feared. So, like, if we go back, I don't, I'm not going to go back now, but going back, like, 30 seconds plus, like, 35 seconds, we are in this current state where I've taken two fears in a row without retaliation because I'm going to go back and show you what the error was. Here, this, what I'm doing here. Right, this had an impact 30, 30 plus seconds later. Because I get charged here, so then the priest can fear me off. Because I don't have fear available, so there's nothing I can do to counter it. Just because of momentum, right? Like, now, now we're, we eat a burn from it, we're behind on momentum, the Feral has a proc. I don't know if he's even going to use that, I think he just doesn't use it. Oh, he healed himself with it or something, I don't fucking know. So because we're behind, obviously, it gives him the charge available again to get me on cast. So we're behind again. Have to use the meld. Still behind, still behind, still behind. Having to cast a lot of heals, unable to remove procs, etc. Fortunately, get the field off. That could have easily not come off, but we have to eat the fear for it. Because we're kind of constrained by uh, positioning. Feral is continuing to momentum. Going for the MD on Innovate, it's a risky one, not worth too many buffs up, it's just a waste of mana, but yeah, gambling. Everyone gets another proc, so we're like, we're still behind on momentum, right? All because of that early CC that they got on us due to that charge. So, just generally being mindful of the, uh, 
Okay, so this was a nice one. We managed to dodge the fear there. Got charged out of line and bash, but it didn't actually do anything to us because we had good positioning and awareness that he wanted to push for the fear. So that was good. But yeah, just if if my boy's in clone, I just line. Deny any sort of feral charge possibilities if I can, obviously. Can we get this proc? Yeah, we get the proc. That's good. Ooh, dodged another fear. That was nice. So we're kind of making a comeback with these fear dodges. But, like, it's it's crazy. Like, the fear dodges are, like, like, clutch plays, right? Like, in the moment. Where if I don't do it, we'd probably lose the game, right? And it's crazy that I have to do two of those fear dodges to recover that one mistake at the start of the game where I allowed them to, to kind of build momentum as a result of it. Got a sneaky burn on him here. That's probably going to be important later on. We got the clone proc off. We get innovate. Almost run out into it, get the clone proc off just in time. Good charge, that's rough. I think he just dies here. Yeah. So we still weren't able to recover. Like aside from anything that the Feral's done on our team, we still aren't able to recover in this game because of that early mistake and allowing them to kind of take control of the game. And if we just assume that our feral is not gonna do anything to outplay or take control of the game or whatever in return it's really important that we don't drop that early momentum to make it easy for him to just continue doing his uh his standard stuff and it be enough for us to control like the mana situation and the pressure uh and then outplay on fear duels because you see like the the third and f no what is it yeah the third we won the first one then he got second and third and then we got fourth and fifth right and then he gets this sixth one but it's off a charge again. So this is a good charge for us. So here we should technically... Here, I don't give the other Feral enough credit. I shouldn't go for this Flash Hill here. I should actually sidestep here and go for him, I think. This is the correct play there. Uh, or or a Pom. No, Pom's on cooldown. For now, anyway. Let's, let's, let's break this death down a little bit more. So here we're kind of fine, right? Put a pom, I think that's correct. We get innovated. Here needs to be a penance as soon as it comes up. So he gets stunned. The druid gets a proc. So now we can't press the penance anymore because we're going to get cloned. We don't have trinkets, so we die if we get cloned. So we managed to dispel the proc. And then penance. Okay, I think that's fine. Uh, why do we two ticket only? Let's see. I think three tick, three ticks. Oh, I think I'm scared of the fear. That's why. Let's watch it back. Yeah, so I see the priest's coming, right? And I'm like, shit, he's going to come fear me. He might have actually gone for the fear if I'd have. Ah, maybe not. He shields right as I dodge. So I could have gone, gotten the three ticks away there, but I see why I didn't want to gamble it. I see the weakness all coming off as well, so I reshield. I think that's okay. I don't know if it's a little slow, let's see. We could, we, I think there's a little bit of dead global time here as well. When we're dodging with the innovate, we need to be more mindful of this because I think we could have put a renew up somewhere while on global. Yeah, like this, uh, we could have easily put a renew up, but I think I'm also potentially holding global for his proc. So, again, it's not the worst. I think the main mistake is that flash heal. If we just, um, we get, we get the shield up on him, two tick penance, pom is done. We could go for another pom, it's just about coming up now. Um... We could have gone for like a double fear. 
that's really like risky though. So yeah, the option is like to do one pom from here instead of this flash heal. Because at this point, we've been like the pom would have been here, right? So the pom would have been up a while, and we're gonna be almost. So like at this point, he's gonna have a shield and a pom still, and we're gonna channel the him, and we're gonna be getting to the first tick. The priest is then gonna push around, and we have to cancel after like two ticks and try and win the fiddle. We have field available, so that's doable. So I think that's the correct play here. Shield. So like, yeah. The pom would have would would have been up, and the global would have been off about here. So I could have been channeling now. And I think that's enough to save him. Because look how slow he dies. If I go directly for the, the him. Like as soon as I shield. If I run out of line and him. Then. The risky thing is. If the priest is very good. He runs straight here and denies the first tick. Right. This is the issue. If the priest is good, he's he's gonna be round hit, round hit very quickly, so we get maybe one tick off. I don't know if it's enough. So I think that I think the pom into into him is the correct play, and then try to usher the priest around this way so that they're together, and then double fear because we have peaker advantage, right? And then we can get the the fear on him before he gets us. 